Hi guys. Oh, it's not as late as I thought it was. I thought it was later than that. <laughs> yeah, okay then. <coughs> uh, at least I've been somewhat productive today. I've uh, fixed that girl's mountain bike. If I can find it. That's the one I swapped for my silver ladies' mountain bike. So. Uh, it's all done. I'm going to change the chain on this because I'm not happy with that one. That was um, a chain I took off of. Let me just go through to that bedroom. Ouch. Took it off that one and it's a, it's a duff chain basically. So uh, I've got to change it. And I've actually decided that's going to be scrapped because I can't get the handlebars off to do a respray. What I could if I took a hacksaw and just cut through there like I've done before. But that's not really worth that much effort. So there's a few bits I'm going to take off. Saddle, brakes, brake levers. Possibly the crank, because I think I can clean that up as well. And, uh, yeah, that'll be that. I'm not go out there on my trailer. Um, I've got most of the work I needed to do on this done. I've got to put an inner tube in the front wheel. Because I pinched it out of that for a bike that I've actually got locked out front. Uh, put the better handlebar on. I've got that sort and I've actually cleaned it up with a bit of steel wool and I've gone all around that, cleaned it up as best I can. Same with the brake levers. Um, gears are all working and I had two options for the gears. I could have just used some of this, um, a bit of a touchy brake, um, gear lever though. Some of this black outer cabling as they call it to go all the way from the lever all the way down. To the rear gear mech um, and just zip tie it to the frame but I didn't use that option because I didn't need to really. Um, being a three-speed bike it still had all the bolt-on cable stops there there's one there there's a pulley just down there to guide the cable round and then there's another stop there so I just used the existing stuff really to um, fit the rear gear cable which I stole from that <laughs> so i um, going to have to either change the chain or change the chain ring on this because the chain keeps dropping off that chain ring you pedal so much and then it just goes doink and it's really annoying but the rear gears do work, the brakes work so really aside from just fixing the problem with the chain falling off the chain ring and that flat tire and putting a wheel nut on there and giving it a good clean because it's full of dust and muck and I don't know what else this is actually quite clean for a rack these usually go rusty really really badly but that's actually quite clean so yeah. it's still a bit dusty where it's a bit well blah, 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 blah. get my teeth in <laughs> Still a bit dusty where it was sitting in the workshop at my mum's old house, so uh, give that a good old clean. It's only a universal brand, so it's only a, well, what I like to call a budget bike. It would have only been a cheapie when it was new. So, uh, I think this would be sort of uh, mid to late 90s, at the very least, going by the... Um, square type reflectors which are still used today actually you can just see one there on the back of one those type of reflectors are still used today so this isn't a ultra old one but, uh, I'm going to try and sell it when it's done I'm going to try and uh, see if I can get a bit of cash for it but if not then I don't know what I'm going to do with it <laughs> it's got 
alloy wheels in, so that actually might be a a good selling point for some people, because they um a lot of people do prefer the alloy wheels these days, probably because they don't bloody rust. Because the problem with um steel wheels, because they're chrome coated, like the handlebars <laughs> and the stem and the brakes, they tend to rust. Um, especially if you don't uh, wipe the water off, you know, before you put the bike away. Uh, so, there, yeah, chrome is a bit of a pain to... It looks nice, but uh, it's a pain to look after. I mean, the handlebar I put on isn't perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than the one I took off. The one that I took off was just beyond cleaning. It would, had, would have had to have been... Um, Completely re-chromed, and I ain't doing that, not for a bike for this, that's too much money. This is only a little home project, so... Could do with a better set of mud guards on it. Uh, I've got to go digging in the closet at some point to finish this off. So, uh, I might, I've got some... Um, did have... Some steel mud guards in there. Chrome ones, but... They're in perfect condition. They'd look better on this. Better than these um, rotten ones, anyway. It's even got a kickstand on this. I've got to lower that seat. Or at least I've got to hope I can lower that seat. Because uh, it's a bit high for me. But it has rusted around here, so... i just got to hope it hasn't rusted solid and that it will move. Uh, no, I might have the handlebars leaning a bit too far forwards, but I put they're exactly the same shape as the ones that come off, and these are I put them on in the exact same position. So I need to get photos of these um, two computers done. I might sell that joystick separately. I don't know if it's worth selling separately, but. Or I could just sling it in with, 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 that came with, I can't remember what that came with. The Amstrad, I think, that came with. Don't hold me to that, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was going to put these chrome wheels in, but the brakes are working fine with these alloy wheels in, so I'll just leave those in, I can't be bothered to swap them now. So they can go back in the cupboard. I've got a pile of racing bike wheels outside the front door there. Which you couldn't see because I haven't got the light on. Uh, I'm just trying to get rid of because they're getting on my wick. They're too good to just throw away so I thought I'd give them a chance and sell them. And if I can't sell them on um, Gumtree and Facebook where I've put the two ads, I'm just going to stick them on eBay eventually. See if I can get, uh, I don't know, five or each for them. Actually there's one there that I will probably just ditch because it is uh, pretty rough. Alright. Um, I really did think that was later than that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Alright, I'm going to put the PS3 on. I'm not going to turn the TV on yet because I was going to play music and whatnot and I don't want to get copyrighted by anything. <sighs> Roll on when I next get paid so I can get the track I need. If I don't decide to buy pony stuff first. <laughs> Because there is a couple of cuddlies I'm watching on eBay, a couple of plushies, and I really do want them. And I'm hoping they do not sell in the meantime. One has, I was watching like four or five, and one has already sold. I don't think I'd dare check eBay, not yet. Although if I get any more, I'm not going to get into bed, I don't think. I'm going to have to uh, find somewhere to start stacking these. Stacking them. Standing them. I believe I just said stacking them. You don't stack cuddlies, you stand them. Alright. Hmm. Maybe I could move you three somewhere. Hmm. 
Mm. We'll clear all that junk off of there and I could stand a couple on there maybe. Maybe my builder bears because they are pretty big and take up a lot of room. Uh, yeah. Well, I mustn't forget I need a Pinkie Pie keychain to complete the set. <clears throat> I've got five of the six. Do, 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 do. Right. Yep. Just so you all know, there will be brony related stuff on my channel because this is my channel. This is about me and the things I do and the things I'm interested in, so. If you don't like the pony stuff, tough. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> you know, that's what the like and dislike button is there for. <laughs> so much I want to buy next time I get paid, but uh, not enough to go round, unfortunately. <sighs> Because ideally I was thinking of buying enough track to complete my layout, the whole layout, but uh, um, I don't know if that's going to be possible. Not if I want to buy some uh, My Little Pony merchandise as well. So I might just have to buy enough to complete the outer circuit. At least for now, because I do want to move this further along to go across there, so I can have a longer siding. It should be long enough to get a train in at least that long. It would be great if I could get a longer one in, but I am going to buy multiple of, like, tankers. Not all at the same time, just when I see them come up on eBay, because people buy train sets like this, and then they'll sell, like, the locomotive separate, and then the... Three wagons, I don't know why Lego only include three wagons with their trains, but they always do. And three different wagons, but... To add a bit of realism, you know, I might get like... Another three or four of these tankers, and the same with the cart. You know, so it's a realistic sort of freight train. I know it's Lego and you can use your imagination, but I like to have a little bit of realism here and there. So I will uh, buy some various uh, wagons. Here we go, I've got an itch. <clears throat> video so it's gonna be a fairly short one this time <sighs> oh and my parcel has finally been picked up I heard something out there that's possibly sounded like a knock on the door but it was so quiet I wasn't sure and they didn't knock again but when I looked the um, parcel had gone from the door so I am pre presuming that my Hermes has actually picked it up now and uh, got let in or something. So, I don't think anyone's pinched it because they can't get in the doors anyway, they're security doors, so. And uh, we're not supposed to leave them open anymore. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Um, tomorrow's tasks, if I feel up to it, I'm going to go into my outside cupboard. If you actually saw how stacked, it's literally floor to ceiling full of crap. <laughs> Just bike parts. I've got bike parts coming out of my behind at the minute. That's why I'm trying to uh, get some bikes done so I can actually use up parts. So I'm a bit miffed with that mountain bike frame because I could have got rid of a, a pair of mountain bike wheels. <laughs> um, if I could get rid of that one. You know, that free up so much room. I've got so much in there. But I don't want to get rid of it all, because I can guarantee, as soon as I do that, a bike's going to come along, and I'm going to need those bloody wheels. Anywho. Yep. 
thanks a lot for watching. And don't forget, if you like the video, then feel free to hit the like button. If you dislike the video, feel free to hit the dislike button. And uh, of course, if you want to and you haven't already, subscribe. And thank you to anyone in advance who do subscribe. And I will talk to you again, possibly tomorrow, unless I decide to take a break. So, bye.